Greetings. It's a fantastic Friday on Delisa's Life Dance, and I am out and about in the world. Ooh. I'm out and about in the world, and I just wanted to bring you some love and happiness and sunshine. It's been a bright, sunny, shiny day in Northern California, and I've been out running around doing my errands, getting things done, and I just wanted to say, Hello, thank you for everyone who responded to the Wednesday post from Ola Success. Kopor, send your blessings up, 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 up. Thank you for the response. He's going into studio in Lagos and he is making it happen. So I want to say thank you. It was so wonderful to dance to that tune and share it with all of you. So that's what I did on Wednesday. On Friday, you know, I wanted to talk to you about a little bit about dreams. Um, and if you can think it, believe it, receive it, conceive it, it, it can happen. It have Reach your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. I had um, a very interesting dream last night. I usually don't remember dreams, but the dream that I had woke me up and I sprung into action this morning. So sometimes dreams are there to shake you about and get you into action, action mode. And so that's what my dream did to me. But if you don't have a dream, you might not have a goal. And if you don't have a goal, then you may not be able to achieve this process of how you're here in our what? Time, space, reality. So um, I think dreams are a way that spirit is connecting us. It's Friday, so I'm talking about spirit and how dreams, uh, how we have that connection with the spiritual side of self um, and just being able to tune in to that ancestral healing um, that focus on what the ancestors are showing you or there to guide you yes I believe in that I'm definitely a, a believer in ancestral uh, spiritual connection and the energy that is given to one when they are able to tap into that. So that's another phase of what I do. I wear a lot of different hats. So that's another phase of healing is to be able to connect with one's inner spirit and ancestral guidance. And with the Shona culture, that's very, very important to ask for guidance from our ancestors to show us the way out of problems and how to maintain a community. So I'm in several different communities and in every community there is a spiritual connection. So I just wanted to point that out. Those of you who that are finding me on Delisa's Life Dance may be finding me because of that spiritual side. And when I dance and when one is able to dance and create and get lost in the movement and actually transcend into another place. You will see a lot. <laughs> it's funny, when I danced with the Chinikari Ensemble and I'm in the audience and I'm just doing my thing and then I get changed to the green room and then I get in costume and then we get on stage with Julia, Casey, Kanakai, Marsha, all the dancers, Russ, Sarah, Kathy, everybody, Casey, we all get together, um, Katesy, um, Gerald, and Olga, we play marimbas, Ronnie, we're all on stage as the ensemble. And when we become the ensemble and we perform the traditional music and dance of Zimbabwe, most people are like taken aback they are moved by the music into another space, another time space reality, so to speak. So I get off stage and then I go back into the audience and people were like, were, was that you on stage? Wait, you look, that was you on Wait, you look different. I mean, what happened to you? So all that I can say in my explanation is that I was spiritually guided and I was taken to a space where 
you will see a different side of me, the spiritual side of me as I dance. So <laughs> everybody that hasn't seen the Chinyakari Ensemble in action, well, you got to do that. It's nothing like the videos and the YouTube videos and all the different things that you see us, although it's very beautiful. It is more that happens when we get on stage. So I will talk to you soon. Keep that in mind. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a fantastic Friday. And enjoy your weekend, people. Bye-bye.